that, that means we we have um, the fullness of God's power and presence in our midst, in our lives, in everything that we do. Um, but before we go into it, I would like to um, say that um, on, upon the promises of God, any child or uh, um, child of God or Christian can get whatever he or she wants as long as it's in the perfect um, harmony or will of um, God. Yeah. And um, not only the um, what we want, but uh, also what we need, because God has promised us that he will grant us all that. Um, this is because um, of the covenants that God has established between himself and human. And as we know, he, he, he's a covenant keeping God. He never goes back on his word. So whatsoever he has said, he will do. Um, and I, I presume that um, um, we all know about covenants and so we'll, we'll not even dwell on that or go into that. And also um, for the sake of time. So uh, let's continue. Um, the, the, there are times that we hear some um, Christians or some people um, praying by saying, um, if it is thy will, if it is thy will. I've, I've heard that phrase in sentences or in prayer, uh, prayers of some people so many um, times. But um, I would like us to know that once God has promised and given it to us, then it is his will. So saying if it is thy will is like we are doubting God for what he has um, said. And um, also um, it brings up a bit of... Um, faithlessness in what we are saying or um, asking God or and also um, losing our trust in the deity that um, we know our God is. And um, so um, we have established that and um, he has not said, um, um, just like his word says, has he not said, and he will he not do it? Or has he not said, and will he not um, make it good? So if he has said it, um, why should we in his presence say, if it's thy will, if it's thy will? And uh, when we say that, it, it, it doesn't even exude any confidence that we have in um, our God or um, our Father. Um, so by praying on the promises of God uh, in, 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 in such a way means that we, we are not asking in faith. And we know that um, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Without faith, we cannot receive what we need or what we want um, from God. And uh, um, with this, uh, let's establish this uh, before we go on. Let's go to James. James um, chapter one, verse six. James chapter one, verse six. James chapter one, verse six. Okay, he says, but let him ask in faith, 
nothing wavering. For he that waveth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So if we are not asking in faith, then it means we don't even trust our God or our Father. And he has told us that uh, we shouldn't even think that we're going to receive anything from him. So if we have established that to now, uh, shall we go to John, John chapter one. And we'll read from verse one, from verses one to five. John chapter one, from verse one to five. It says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. So this tells us that um, Jesus, who is part of um, the creator to bring creation, um, actually is the word. And for us to abide in the presence of God means we have to have the word in us. And having the word in us means we are engrafted in Jesus or we are in Jesus. And uh, this scripture has established that. Now Jesus is telling us that um, in John 15, John 15, 7, John chapter 15, verse 7, Jesus said something. Jesus, could the, could the person with the radio on, please switch it off? It is in our best interest. Let me get you off. Go ahead. If ye abide in me and my word abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done on you. Minister Benson, one moment, Minister Benson. Everyone that is on the line at this time, and that you are on your phone at this moment, please look at your, your bottom of your screen and please touch the mute button which has the mic. Those of you that are on your home phone or the landline, Please press the button. Those of you that are on the app, please. And those of you that are on the landline, please press star six. Once again, those are using the home phone or the landline, please press star six. And if you want to come in and make a um. Any words after that encouragement from yeah. um, Minister Benson? Yes. Then after I, I think I mute them. I think I mute them. Okay, you got it? Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Go Thank ahead, you, Apostle. Benson. Thank you, Apostle. But, yeah. Um, let's go back to the scripture. Um, Jesus is telling us in John chapter 15, verse 7, If ye abide in me, 
and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Abiding in God's presence means we abiding in the word because he is his word. And as we abide in him and his word abide in us or he abides in us, then whatsoever we ask, it will be granted unto us. What I love about this scripture is that um, he's, it's all like all inclusive condition um, of answered prayer. Whatever, whatever you will, and it shall be granted unto you. So it's an all-inclusive, uh, all-inclusive um, condition. And uh, I, I love it. I love this scripture a lot. Um, but we have a part also to play. Remember that um, we have a covenant um, with God. And our part to play in this scripture, one thing is to ask. That is our part. If we do not ask, then God cannot do anything because we have not asked, you know. And uh, um, I want us to um, turn to John um, chapter 16 to see uh, this thing. Verse 23 to 24, John chapter 16, 23 to 24. Um, it says, and in that day, ye shall ask nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you because you, you ab we abide in him. But the, 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 the scripture turns um, on its head in chapter, uh, verse 24. It says, hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. This scripture, the, 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 the um, the Christ, Lord Jesus, was talking to, um, well, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, you name them. And all this time, to them, they've been asking God. And could you imagine Christ coming in, talking to them all this time, and he said, all this time that you have been asking, you've asked nothing. You've asked nothing. What controversy will this bring? That no, we know how to ask. We are the Pharisees or we are the Sadducees or whatever. And we have been praying and we have been asking our God in heaven, the God of Moses the, and all these things. And Jesus was telling them, he that to, up to this point, he that to, up to this point, you've asked nothing. Wow, this <laughs> it's something else. Because if up to now we've asked nothing, and we thought we have been asking, so that means this is why we ask and we do not receive, because we do not ask in the perfect harmony of God or the word of God, you know? And uh, before we go on to pray, um, I would like us to um, just delve a little bit um, or go about the benefits of uh, um, abiding in God and uh, asking. And I, I, I would like to um, us to um, just a bit for the uh, sake of time. One, when we abide in him, 
we have victory. There is victory when we abide in him or in his presence. And I want us to see this uh, and first Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. Verse 57. Verse First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thanks be to God who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Christ, we can do all things. Through Christ, who strengthens us, as Bible says. And it is stating here that as we abide in the Lord Jesus Christ, he giveth us victory through Christ, our God. So be steadfast and uh, immovable or unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord for as much as ye know that your labor in is not in vain in the Lord. That is our victory. That is one. Another um, benefit of abiding in um, him is we have life. We have life and also we have light. Um, let's go to John chapter one. John chapter one. Verse four, he says, in him was life and the life was the light of men. Hallelujah. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And in verse five, it continues to say, and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. And we know that darkness in the spirit is referred to Satan or things which are not of God. And for that reason, wherever there is light, darkness cannot comprehend. So that gives us victory over the things of the enemy or over the things of Satan. Uh, yeah, because uh, Satan cannot comprehend it. And uh, we thank God for that, for that power and the victory he has given us over everything of God. And also, the third thing I would like to mention here, just a few, uh, is our prayers are answered. John 15, John 15, 7, which we have already um, read, but I would like us to uh, use it again. And it says, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask. Ask. That means whatever and uh, what uh, ye will. And it shall be done. It shall be done. That is the root note of this. It shall be done. That means an answered prayer, it shall be answered unto you because you are abiding in the presence of God. And uh, um, so that is the third one. The fourth one before we go into prayers is um, there is fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. And that is um, could be found in can be found in John chapter 16. John chapter 16, verse 23 to 24. John chapter 16, verse 23 to 24. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily. I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask, 
the Father in my name. He will give it to you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive that your joy may be full. That your joy. Another one. That your joy may be full. And we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is, is our strength. And if we don't have joy, that means we don't, that, that, that there is no strength in us, in God. And Bible continues to tell us that in the face of adversity, and if your faith fails in the face of adversity, that means your strength is small. That means your strength is small in the face of adversity. But Bible has told us that the righteous shall be bold as lion. So even in the face of adversity, we shall stand tall because we know that we abide in him. The one who has overall power and over all authority, over anything that has been created because he is the creator. And these are the few things that we'll like, uh, like us to like uh, hit on when you abide in the presence of God or presence of the almighty. And uh, I think time is far spent. So I will hand over to apostle to uh, oral to go into um, the prayer topics now. Over to you, apostle. Yes, wonderful, wonderful word. So we thank you, apostle Isaac Benson for that word. Abiding in his presence. Amen. And so we're going to begin uh, I, uh, by asking, you, you don't have to unmute your mic as yet. Um, in just in your own space, just ask Jesus for something. He said, ask so that your joy may be full. You know, when we come to prayer, we could ask too. When we come to church, we can ask. And sometimes we do not ask for ourselves. So ask. Okay, so um, a, a few minutes just to ask them for something. Nothing is too hard are too difficult for Jesus. So he said, if you ask him in my name, he said, I'm going to do it. Okay, so this is um, the practicum part of it. So Jesus, I am asking you for whatever it is. I I'm going to unmute mine so you don't hear what I'm asking him for. Praise God. I hope yours was not as long as mine. Okay, but I, I did ask. Amen. Are we expecting for something to happen? Okay, you could, uh, remember what, when you ask, the time when you ask, the date when you ask, the month, and see God work on what you have asked him for. Amen. Hallelujah. So at this time, we're going to pray. I want to spend, just to spend a few minutes just praying in the spirit, praying the mind of God. Um, building capacity. I've been preaching about that. Choose to live the supernatural life and sometimes become, I mean, nonchalant about praying in the, in the Holy Spirit. So when we meet in prayer, uh, iron sharpens iron. And if you're in a space where you could pray in the Spirit, whether you're in your bedroom or in your bathroom, uh, keep yourself on mute, listen to the rest of us, but everybody don't stay on mute now. But um, for people in different locations doing different things, but 
uh, unmute and some of us pray in the Holy Spirit just for a while and then we go into praying in English. So let, let, let's do that. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Riba Baba Kushan, the little Riba Kushan, the Kilida Rango Rimba, Hala Bakuta, the Okay, if we could stop a little bit now, are we going to pray again? Now, while I was praying, when you pray in the Holy Spirit, you, you open a, a, a dimension in the Holy Spirit for acceleration, for information, for access, for interpretation. So now while I was praying, I, I am going to give what I got in my spirit and I want you to jump in if you get anything. Because when you pray in the spirit, you also can hear um, in the English. What I got is let God arise mm -hmm. and let his enemies be scattered. Okay, that Amen. was right for me. Because a couple of Sundays ago, we beat up on the enemy and the enemy come back with a backlash. Okay, mm -hmm. and that, that is because of, uh, we, we have to have to actually step up your prayer, praise, because when the apostles step into the apostolic and do the apostolic and beat up the devil bad, he coming back. And so you need people to really stand in the gap. So when, he, when we just prayed in the spirit, what happened is that he just revealed, it, revealed this to me, let God arise. And so while we were praying, you were helping me and assisting me in letting the enemies that wants mm. to come up against me and the prayers that were released be scattered. So that's what I got. That's what, that is what I got. Anyone else want to jump in on, on what they got in the spirit while they were praying? I kept feeling Michael. unity, unity, greater need for unity. Uh, because when uh, a people are one and a people have one mind, there's nothing that they can't do. Look at the Tower of Babel. They had one mind. And they were going to build uh, a structure to the heavens. So with us today, we need to have one mind to go forward. Forgetting what has happened yesterday, let's go forward with one mind. Yeah, one, wonderful, wonderful. Anybody else want to jump in? Okay. You have to unmute your mic.
Okay, I'm not hearing anyone else. But we, so we're gonna continue. We got to tell we're gonna practice and teach. Okay, and not only were we in uh, <clears throat> close by, but I believe God has given us the technology. I'm not anti-technology. Folks gotta just show up. And God gonna show up because I believe God is up to something. God is up to something. And you're gonna oppose all his, his spirit upon all flesh, whether we are in person or uh, we are part. I'm hearing about revival dropping in places where people just in their houses listening to the word of God and revival just dropping upon families, revolutionizing families, pastors, opening back up churches that were saying they're not going to open them up again because nobody showed up. And so, so miracles are still happening. Okay, and people are helping one another. So we're going to pray again in the spirit with purpose and intent. Now we're going to pray in the spirit uh, for our educational system. I, I want Apostle Evelyn to lead it, to lead it. I just pray in pure in the Holy Spirit, uh, 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 pray in, in tongues and also in English. The rest of us will kind of um, in the background praying in the spirit. Okay, so, so you go ahead. The, our education Amen. system, I think we're out of like 200 teachers within the, uni, uh, um, the, uh, the Virgin Islands and we need to press some back in, asking for the those who got retired to come back at least to fill up the gap for a little while. But that's, that's a lot after COVID and what we have been through. So we got to handle that thing in the spirit. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Father, we thank you right now um, for children who are heritage. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you would cause educators in this region to have uh, a mind again to work. I pray that you would heal their minds from the past. I come against past hurts and disappointments and I come against Father God low pay, which may have caused them to seek other employment. But I pray that they would have a heart for our children who are like our pastor Ebrin stated, they're just not our future, they are our now. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ Christ, that uh, your mercy will flow like a river throughout our educational system. We give you praise for the new leadership that you have put in place by your power and your mighty outstretched hands. God, you did it. And I pray right now that people would raise her hands up, that people would um, um, pray for her, that she will get the plans and purposes that are upon her heart plans from your throne room to come to pass. I thank you right now, Father God, for uh, the superintendent who would work closely with the new uh, commissioner. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the children would benefit so greatly that this will be one of the a banner school years, that it will be noise abroad about what the Lord has caused to happen, even though people have walked out. I pray, Father God, that you would send them from the east, the west, the north, and the south to return into our classrooms. God, those who have graduated with the education degree, that they won't be tempted to go get another job doing something else but God you will bring them and put them in position and they will love our children they will not do it for a paycheck but they will do it father God out of commitment a deep-seated commitment we thank you that all things are possible to those who believe and today we declare to you that we believe for an amazing tremendous school year that our children they will test at higher levels than ever before and father god that there will be no talk of molestation no talk of any kind of reproach upon our educational system but father we declare and we decree that it is fully staffed and fully funded and raises are even given oh yes. god and that people yes. will be so surprised at what you have done we thank you because we call it done and we believe to see it in jesus name amen, amen. thank you lord amen. amen amen thank you for that prayer uh, amen. Amen. elder williams you're up first can i unmute elder williams up okay um uh, uh, elder cleon can you pray okay sorry Oh, you're there? Okay, yeah. good. Okay, good. Okay, your prayer is 
Uh, we're going to pray against territorial spirits, working against the people of God in the land, um, working against the believers, the pastors, um, even government leaders. I mean, right now we're in a, uh, they call there's a word for it, uh, when the government is um, really not so active and like in a limbo, that kind of looking to get back in again. But uh, they're out campaigning in like a recess, I think recess, even do the recess, uh, we're going to pray for them, that I would cover them, amen, and we come up against territorial spirits. There's some territorial spirits we have to contend with. Uh, I, I was looking at the statistics just today about homicides in the Virgin Islands and who are committing it, and they had a breakdown, and the people who are living here, island by island, where they're from, and I say, oh my God, this is chaotic. You know, because sometimes you say somebody died, somebody killed somebody, you check to see where they came from, you know, and that's going to make it bad for some folks who came from other places here. They start looking at you real badly. But we got to pray the kingdom of God come and his will be done in these Virgin Islands. So into your hands, you go ahead. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we just glorify you and magnify you. As King of kings and Lord of lords, and none higher than you, or none greater than you, Father God. We just thank you for these Virgin Islands, these beautiful Virgin Islands, Lord God. We declare even now that the Virgin Islands are the apple of your eyes, Father God. We speak for blessings on these islands, blessing on all the, these islands, St. Thomas, St. John, St. Croix, Water Island, Lord God. I call them blessed in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God, that no weapons form, Lord God. Again, these islands and the people in these islands shall prosper, Lord God. In fact, territorial spirits and the, the gates of hell shall not prevail against these islands. I say, Satan, the Lord, we rebuke you. We call forth Michael, the archangel, to contend, Lord God, against that that, that is contending and that those, those territorial spirits are... are and uh, demonic and spiritual forces, even in man, Lord God. Some are working along with these spirits, Lord God, to wreak havoc in these islands for their own personal gains, Lord God. They will, they will summon in evil spirits to create havoc uh, for their gains. And, and I, I, I again call and ask Angel Ma Michael and the host of angelic forces to war Lord God, on our behalf, on the behalf of these islands, Father God. I pray, Lord God, for a covering of your Holy Spirit, a breaking forth of revival throughout these islands, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that you will let it begin even in me, Lord God, as I avail myself, Father God, to be used for your glory, Lord God, to remove within me that which you don't want and to place what in me that that that, that is needed, Lord God, that I can be set forth, Lord God, as a, as a light, Lord God, as a beacon, Lord God, in time of travel, trouble and, and tribulation, Lord God, to draw men unto you, Lord God, not for my glory, Lord God, but all for your glory and for your kingdom to become on this earth, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, as, as our elected officials, Lord God, are in a campaign mode that will not neglect the needs of these territories, Father God. Our educational system, which is in wreck, Lord God. And now, Lord God, after four years, all of a sudden, there's all kind of no quote and quote revelations and changes that are going to bring changes. But what happened three years ago? Then why is it only now important? Is it just a political plot, Lord God? If, if, if that is their heart, Lord God, remove them and put people in there whose heart are truly for the children and the people of these Virgin Islands, Lord God. We place this in your hands. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 We're gonna, next prayer, we're going to pray against altars that are, that are risen in the Virgin Islands to influence decision making, affecting our families. And we're going to come up against it harshly. We've seen what's happening in our schools. I mean, they want the guys to wear their, their dress, and, but we, we are working at that to tear that kingdom down. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. We're going to send prayers in there. If, uh, um, Elder, um, Minister Sonia Malone, if you're up and hearing me, you could pray for that prayer. We're going to pray and come up against altars in our land, risen up by politicians, because during this time, a lot of politicians got their suits sales and altars are left in the land. So we're going to tear down these altars left behind 
to cause wreck and ruin our land. The things that cause debt and destruction. And these things just come hard and say, we ask for 10 boys, tell them yours. They'll be asking for stuff, the life of people and for power. We say, yeah, let it happen. So we're going to pray against altars that are risen up in these Virgin Islands to influence politicians, influence decision making, affecting our families and our lives and the young people who are in our land. So if you, if you can unmute, you can pray. That's Hallelujah. What, um, go ahead. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, tonight we come corporately together, Lord God. We stand in the gap on behalf of our island. We stand in the gap on behalf of our children. We stand in the gap on behalf of each one of us, oh God. Father, you ask that you forgive us, oh God, where we fail and where we falter. But we come against all the altars that are standing, oh God. Father, for when the young, we stand up, oh God. He take down all the altars, oh God, that was there, that was not of God. So we come against every spirit tonight that is not of you, oh God. And we pray, oh God, for a renewed spirit in the name of Jesus. For when we come against all the negative concept spirit that is in the land, all the altars are being built up because of things that people want to do right now in the name of Jesus. We conquer them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus and through the blood of Jesus. Father, we send a warring angel, O oh God, to destroy these altars tonight in the name of Jesus. And so, Father God, we pray for revelation knowledge to go forth throughout this island. For you are the God of heaven and the God of this earth. And so you see everything. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, it is not hopeless, O oh God. We look to you for you're not a hopeless God. And so, Father, tonight we thank you for what you're about to do, oh God, as we pray. We pull out all the stronghold of the enemy in the name of Jesus, all the surrounding altars that they build up, oh God. We send the blood across the island, across the offices, oh God, and into the homes of those who are doing all of this stuff, oh God. Father, we thank you tonight for making change. We thank you for only you can make the changes, oh God. And so we glorify you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the leaders, oh God, that are doing this thing. We say that they're not so we call them down. We say that freedom from corpse, freedom from, oh God, from witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against every hindering spirit in the name of Jesus. We send the blood across the witchcraft spirit, oh God, that's in the land tonight in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we pray for a revival to break forth when they place the altars in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for doing what no other can do. We bless you tonight. We thank you, oh God, for the blood covering. And we thank you, oh God, these altars are crushed in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we walk in trust. We walk trusting in you and believe in you for all things. And so, God, we thank you for your will be done in this island. And so, Father God, we give you praise tonight. For you are God. You will get the victory. We glorify you as we seek your face tonight, oh God, over this thing. We thank you again for destroying and for the angels, oh God, to surround this place and destroy everything that is not of you. And so, Father, that the people will repent in the name of Jesus because of the sin, oh God, and all of the things that they're doing. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Back to your apostle. Amen. Thanks for that prayer. Amen. I'm going to pray uh, this prayer. I think this might be the last one before I pray. Uh, I'm going to pray for the CCM pastors. Um, some of them are going through some real tough time. We're also going to cover the Lewis family, Church of God in Christ. You know, Pastor Lewis, he passed away for his family. And we have already sent them the, our prayers of comfort. So it's going to pray for them and their church members. I think the, two years ago, his wife went home to be the Lord. Now he's gone home. So we're just going to pray and lift them up. Okay, Pastor Everine. Praise your name, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Your almighty God, thank you, Father God, that you give us this privilege of coming to you, Father God.
God. And so we thank you, Father, that we could bring all the CCM, Caribbean Covenant ministers, pastors, leaders before you, Father. He said that, Father God, our leaders, Father God, should be prayed for because they, they, they lead, Father God, not just only the church, but they lead the nation through by leading your people. And so, Father God, we pray for their strength right now, Father God. Many might be discouraged with all the things that are going on, but Father, give them hope. Strengthen them, Father God, so that they can continue to minister to their flock, continue to minister hope, continue to minister salvation, Father God, because salvation, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ is what will bring people into your kingdom. And so we thank you that they will not lose hope, Father God. They will not be discouraged in the well-doing because you're going to strengthen them, Father God. And you, we thank you, Father God, that the weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Many are saddened, Father God, at the loss of members, Father God, at the loss of different things that are going on in their lives personally, Father God, and the membership. But Father God, you promised, Father God, to take care of their every need. Father God, they, they have need it's just like the other membership, Father God, and the, the members in the church. And we thank you, Father God, that you take care of all of their needs. All of their needs are met according to your riches and glory. So, Father God, right now, Father God, bring, bring hope. Bring hope to them, Father. We pray for all the ministers, Father God, that, that minister your gospel, Father God, that you'll provide for their every need, Father, for their family, Father. We thank you, Father, that you're going before them and you're preparing the way before them. You're giving them a fresh word, a now word, Father. Heavenly Father, help them to hear from you and you only. Help them not to, Father God, regurgitate anything that is old and stale. But Father, help them, Father God, to look to you. You who will give them, Father God, the exact thing to say, the right word, the now word, the on time word. And Father God, we thank you, Father God, that you're going to heal them, Father God, in every area of their lives. Father God, their minds, their bodies, Father God, we pray for healing of minds and Father God, and that they will come together as one because Father God, unity is strength. And so Father God, even though they might have a different section of the body, Father God, that they will be operate as one and we come against the infightings, Father God, and the, the misunderstandings of, among the leadership, Father God. But we thank you right now, Father God, for a spirit of unity that will prevail. And Father God, that is what Satan likes for, for the churches to be divided. But Father God, we are serving one Lord, one savior, Father God. And so we thank you right now for a spirit of unity especially in these trying times, Father God, where everything seems to be going out of, out there, just seem to be going out of whack. Everything is helter-skelter, um, a spirit of, of, of confusion, chaos, Father God. Every time we look around, there's something else. But we thank you, Father God, as if we could come together as one, as ministers and leaders, Father God, as you will, Father God, to give us the desires of our heart. And Father God, the desires, Father God, of the men, membership heart, Father God. And so we thank you for a spirit of unity. We thank you, Father God, that you're strengthening each leader, each pastor, each minister, Father God, for the, the different churches, not only CCM, but Father God, the, the ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout this land, Father God, that lift up your name. Father God, we thank you, Father God, that you're strengthening them in their, their most holy faith. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing in their life. We thank you for providing for the needs of the church, Father God, and the needs of the ministry. And we thank you, Father God, for salvation, Father God, that will come, Father God, to those, Father God, who listen to these mighty men and women of God, and they will come into your kingdom. And Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We give you praise, Father God, for the organization of, of, of CCM, and Father God, for their vision, Father God, that they'll be able to continue to do that which they've set out to to do, which is to bring the body of Christ together, which is to bring the membership to, together in unity. And so we thank you, Father, and we give you praise, glory and honor, Father God, for the lifting up of your name and for lifting up these mighty men and women of God in these land. Father God, help them, Father God, as they go out being leaders in this community, Father God, that they will be respected, Father God. They'll be looked look to, Father God, as ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Father God, we come against, Father God, every plan of, of the enemy, Father God, over their lives. And we say, Father God, they're strong in the Lord and in the power of your might, Father God. And we thank you for a hedge of protection that is being built round about each and every one of them, around about their homes, Father God, and everything that concerns them. We commit them into your care and into your hands. And Father God, we Right now, for the 
church body, Father God, for the other pastors, Father God, who are suffering because of the loss of, of our stalwart, Father God, that was in the ministry. We pray for the family of Bishop Lewis, Father God, for his membership, Father God, for all those who are close to him. We pray for comfort, Father God. Even just his wife was just, um, I think, just passed either last year or the year before, but we thank you, Father God, that you bring comfort to their hearts, Father God. Comfort, Father God. You're the God of hope, and you're the God of peace, Father God. And Father God, you, Father God, will keep them, Father God, in the area is um, a bereavement, Father God, that they could just cast their cares upon you. And so we thank you, Father God, that you're comforting them right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name and amen. Yes, amen. amen. Jesus' amen. name, amen and amen. Okay, anyone has any prayer requests? You'd like us to pray for as, as we end? We could unmute and pray. I believe uh, um, Minister Gwen Gums is up. Yes. Up. Welcome back. Yes, Mr. thank Hall. you. Yes, I have a request. It's um, okay. uh, I just need God. I see him as a way maker while we were away. God made so many ways that I just call him way maker. And right now I have a situation, a physical situation. I could not stop to get it done in the States because it was time for us to come back. And now I've come. The list is from here to Tortola. And I had a test and it came out positive in the States. And they called me and let me know that this test is positive. They forward that information to the, doc to the doctor's office. I went there yesterday as I didn't hear from them. And they said they don't know when the doctor is going to come. Um, so they can't tell me. So they directed me to another doctor, which I went to. Their list is from here to January. And um, this thing is, is, is positive. And I just need God to make a way somehow. Um, she said, if anybody cancel, that's how I will be moved up. They put me on their early list. But as for now, they don't have any position. And um, I need Amen. God to come through for me. Yes, we, so we, we, pray, we pray that God comes through for you. And so far, we uh, pray, God, as she released, Lord, God, what is happening in her body, God, you're able to come through for her. Your word declares whatever we ask. In your name, you're able to do it. And so, Father, we just thank you. Because you are a miracle-working God, and nothing Amen. is too difficult, and nothing is too impossible for you to do. And I'm sure that whatever is happening in her body, you have healed that multiples of times. So yes. We release the blood into her body. Yes. To deal with the situation in her body. To erase it out of her body. Now we are praying and we add our faith with her faith. Yes. The next time she goes for a checkup, they will say, We can't find it. We can't see it in oh. your body. And so far, we thank you for your, the Holy Spirit is in her, seeking and searching also out, Lord God, putting on his searchlight and his laser light into her body to deal with any growth, any cyst, anything that's cancerous in her body, to remove it out of her body. And we say, live, live, and she will not die to declare the works of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I have, a, I have a testimony. Um, the week there was a night that I requested prayers for my son, immigration papers to come through because it has been held up now for about a year. And the following week, Tuesday, he heard from them and they've given him 30 months. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, so, great. Yeah, God did answer prayers and his wife said to tell all your thanks. She said, because prayers work. That's wonderful, and amen. A, she's a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Okay. But she's very much Christian. She has some very Christian things in mm -hmm. her mouth. Yes. yes. Praise God. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Yes. We thank you for yes. answering that, prop, that um, prayer. God. And Father, answer her son's prayer. You can answer the mother's prayer too. In Jesus' name. That, that okay, yes. a catalyst. Amen. So, amen. Anyone else need a prayer? Anyone want to jump your testimony or anything? Amen. 
Hey, don't have minutes to clean his up, is she? Oh. If she's on the she can't speak. I would call her. Yes, I'm here. <coughs> Sorry. Good night. Go, um, you could give your testimony or else. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. Um, I shared with Pastor Efreen on Sunday when we were talking about prayer and not just talking about prayer, but um, actually demonstrating prayer. I came to church actually with um, something in my mouth. <laughs> it seemed like it was an abscess. I was even showing it to my husband and I was like, you see this? And it was, it was a hot end, but you could feel it was there and it was a little annoying. And uh, I, something just tell me, wait, I don't feel the same annoying feeling in my mouth. And I went and I looked, I put my tongue and it was all gone, dissolved, disappeared. <laughs> I say, well, thank you, God, <clears throat> for what transpired Sunday, because under that anointing, we prayed for healing. And I got my healing, and I didn't even know it till I got home. So I just thank God for what happened on Sunday, and that's my testimony to God be the glory. Amen. 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 We rejoice with you. Hallelujah. That Sunday you did press in. I tell you, y'all had church Sunday. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. So amen. continue to pray for me. On my end, I um, pulled a few muscles on my left, putting on some tight shirts, pulling on some tight shirts. Uh, but um, the pain was a little bit excruciating for some time. But we prayed. I have all those people praying, and my wife is doing all her rubs. Until her arm need rubbing, but um, I'm not in a lot of pain right now, so I'm just kind of keeping it from hurting. Got some sea bath soaking, soaking the sea. The sea did a good one, loosened it up a bit, and the prayers are working. Everything, using everything the land, the sea, and the medicine, and the prayers. Hallelujah. Yeah, but Hallelujah. I'm much better, amen, than I, that, than I was. And pain free. Just a little tingle here and there, as it meant. Hallelujah. Some of the pray. So, Father, I just pray, oh God, for everyone that's online tonight. And so, Father, we pray and we pour out, oh God, for others like Nehemiah and Esther and Hannah. And, Father, we also have needs also. And so, Father, as you met Hannah's need, Esther's need to change the order of things in a whole nation. Um, Nehemiah's need, we met his need, give him gold, silver. Uh, precious items and everything that he needed to go and rebuild the walls. Father, I thank you. You're going to, as we rebuild the walls, everything that we need in our lives that we are crying out to you for, you're able to deliver them. Press down, shaking together and running over. And so, Father, I thank you. You're going to give us our, our debt breaking supply that we're going to have so much that we're going to have to call somebody to help us out. Uh, to eat, to live, to drive, or whatever way you're going to give us in abundance. So, Father, let the God of abundance drop abundance of his healing upon us. Let him drop the abundance of his goodness and his greatness upon us. Lord God, as we continue to pray in the Holy Spirit, we're talking about that theme, living in the supernatural now and zone. You're widening up our spiritual capacity to receive download of wisdom knowledge, counsel, information, a revelation that we so much need and to impart healing in our land. So Father, right now we release healing in a uh, global life church. We release healing in our land. As I, I tell you, we gotta have some healing schools. I tell you, that's why we have to have some healing schools, teach about healing in the land. I tell you, the, 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 the hospitals are backed up. Doctors are backed up, my Jesus. So Father, we thank you, Father, that we got the word, and I believe we can do it. You have energized us to give, do it. You're giving the gift things to do it, and we are going to do it. School of healing, let people be saturated with the word and healing, the hands upon them, and let them run and be healed. And so, Father, we just thank you that you are still our supplier of every need. You are still our healer. You are still our provider. And so, Father, I thank you. You want to protect us tonight. We thank you tonight. We call up the sheep. Because we're not going to count any sheep tonight. We have good sleep. Your word declares that you're going to give your beloved sweet sleep. 
saturate us now, now in the now with sweet sleep we pray and heavenly dreams in Jesus' name. We give you glory, we give you praise, and we thank you for the word that was delivered to that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And Father, and we rumble in your presence because in your presence is just fullness of everything. Cause us to enjoy the fullness and come out of the drudgery and the drab and the pulling. Cause us to go dab in the middle of the fullness of joy tonight in Jesus' name. Right. Amen yeah. and amen. I, I remember, let me give you a testimony. When, I mean, Jesus, God actually come down and tickled me. When I tell people that, they say, man, he out his mind. But that is the one who he tickled. He tickled me so much that I laughed. <laughs> I was not in my own house. I was in St. Martin in the pastor's house. I said, Lord, I'm disturbing these people. And I had to call him off. So he said, come in on to give you some joy and tickled me all night. I said, Jesus, this is too much. And I told him, that, that's it. That's enough. And when I said, that's enough, he just stopped. Well, that's, that's what God is. I couldn't take no more. Okay, so who knows? Tonight you might you might have an encounter with a tickling God. Uh, that's not doctrine, but that's what's mm -hmm. happened to me. So be blessed, be energized, be love you. Let's yeah. to pray one for another and hail up one another. Be blessed. Say bye bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Be blessed. Have be a good well. night. Bless.